Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeToGeek.com and today we're going to talk about PF Sense. There's a new release out, yes, finally, PF Sense 2.5 is released. Uh, this is also the first version that uh, PF Sense Plus comes out. So that's two tracks that they're separating. So the PF Sense Plus is for that hardware that NetGate makes and it does have a few features that the uh, community edition, the CE version, doesn't have. So let's take a look. All right, here we are. Here's the blog post. And again, two point, uh, PFSense Plus 21.02 release and PFSense CE 2.5 release are now available. All right. So at, we'll scroll down here for just a second and notice that there's PFSense at plus ads. So there are things already, and, and honestly, if you've been following PF since they had an FE version, and this plus turn is is the replacement for that. So your NetGate hardware that you got had a couple little different things that uh, you don't get in the CE version. Moving forward, it seems like that's going to be more. Um, items that are put into that category so hopefully it won't be deal breakers and things that we need in the other version if you want to produce your own hardware um so let's take a look real quick so this intel is in there and here's one that i'm interested in this this uh cryptica cryptograph cryptographic accelerated support in the sg2100 and sg1100 which are their low-end uh, NetGate devices. And uh, this is going to help improve the performance uh, with your IPsec and probably going to improve your performance with with your uh, OpenVPN too. So, um, yeah, again, that's some stuff that's happening there. Uh, but if we move on down to the what they both have. So you're gonna notice that we are upgrading to, to version 12.2 of FreeBSD. If you go ahead and you look at the previous uh, version, I'm gonna flip over here real quick. The current version as of yesterday was 2.4.5 and that was on FreeBSD 11.3. So we're getting a whole version upgrade so that's a great thing. We're also getting WireGuard, which is also a cool thing. WireGuard is very, very uh, um, hot on the scene right now. And and I like this also, OpenVPN is getting upgraded to the 2.5 version. So that's something that's important. If you're using OpenVPN, then you may want to go through and uh, update your client's uh, configurations and re-export. And of course, there are a bunch of patches and, and fixes and things like that. And also, just remember, if you remember this AES and I thing, there was a little while where they had uh, said, oh, you can't get, we're not going to get you to 2.5 because uh, AES and I. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure that they got a, a bunch of pushback on that. And, or they may have had some problems implementing whatever. But that is no longer a requirement, and I think that's a good thing. So there are also some packages that you, if you're using, that are now abandoned and deprecated, and you want to use different ones instead of them. Take a look right here is some of those. Upgrades of note. Go through this release schedule. You can, you can take a look. Uh, you can get their actual full release notes and get all the, the changes that are in there. But I just wanted to point those out and I'm kind of excited. Right now I'm gonna take this PFSense CE version and we're gonna go ahead and upgrade it. So if you notice, it already knows that version 2.50 is available. So you can click right here in this cloud and get it or you can go up to system and go to update and it'll already be switched over to the latest stable 2.5 version. So if you, for some reason you need to stay in the previous one, you can switch here now, and I believe they're gonna give you security patches on that 
4.5 version for a while. But in our particular case, we want to go update to the 2.5. So I'm going to click confirm and it's going to go. This will take just a few minutes. We'll reboot it and we'll take a look and see if I can notice any differences. Now this is the first time that I have uh, actually even looked at the 2.5 version. So if you haven't done the update in PFSense before, this is kind of how it looks. Uh, basically it's going through and it's fetching all the updates and downloading them. And uh, so it's a pretty nice little interface that they've set up here to keep everything going and you can watch the progress. It's very similar to updating a lot of things. So let's just give that a moment and uh, this machine will have to, the PFSense will have to reboot. And once it does, we'll come back into it. All right, here we are again. Let's get logged back in and see what kind of amazing things is available to us in the new 2.5. And of course you get the, uh, hey, accept this agreement. All right. So I still have this over here. And so if we look over here, it says 2.5 release. And that's version 2.0 or 12.12 of FreeBSD. All right. From the beginning, it looks like uh, on the dashboard, I don't see much change. Let's go over to VPN and looky there, WireGuard. <clears throat> so there's a uh, WireGuard options here so we'll look into that maybe some sometime later this is also an interesting one here where openvpn is now disables the compression by default uh, because there was some insecurity issues with that so if you, you have that enabled you may want to go ahead and change that feature and um, here we go so one of the things troubleshooting the update if you have some problems they have this package uh, that you could that you can run that will will clean and, and maybe fix some issues so if you run some issues check out this that that could be helpful for you but uh, there you have it and uh, that's uh, PF sense 2.5 thanks for joining me I'm Kevin Stevenson with phase logics you can find me at getmethegeek.com where you can hire us for a project otherwise like and subscribe to my channel